In today's subscriber story, this Minecraft kid is being super annoying to this girl while she's doing a presentation, but the once thought to be shy girl reveals a side that no one has seen before and puts this Minecraft kid in his place. The way she does this is absolutely hilarious, so make sure to stick around and enjoy the story. This whole story went down on this one day that in my subscribers class, there was a huge presentation that was like a large percentage of his grade. They were in like, I think seventh grade, I think it was like seventh or eighth grade, I don't, the subscriber didn't really specify, but basically this was towards the end of the year and it was a really, really big assignment. There's this kid in this class and he was kind of known as like the sweaty gamer Minecraft kid. By the way, there's nothing wrong with liking Minecraft. In fact, you know, I play it all the time. Look at me. I'm playing in the background right now that lovely, wonderful Minecraft parkour that I keep messing up and making it unsatisfying, but whatever, right? Anyways, I like Minecraft. Nothing wrong with being Minecraft and liking it, but a, being a Minecraft kid or a sweaty gamer kid has a bit of a connotation to it, and that's how the subscriber subscribed him. Also, he was kind of known for being, like, annoying and just trying to mess with people for the sake of messing with people. And uh, if you do that, karma will probably get you like it did in this video. By the way, if you want to submit your own stories, submit them to my Instagram. It's just Connor Pugs. It, the, the ad is in the description. Anyways, back to the story. So another character in this whole event, right, is this girl who is not really known by the class that well. She's kind of known as like the shy girl. And uh, let's give her a name. Let's call this girl, uh, let's call her Natalie, right? So Natalie is kind of like quiet. She kind of keeps to herself. She was new this year. So in the beginning of the year, she was new. She she made some friends, right? But a lot of people had been like there for since like the very beginning and it was a little difficult and she didn't really speak up that much. So she wasn't really known for being loud or being, you know, really outgoing. She was kind of just known for kind of keeping to herself. However, the subscriber learned after this story that uh, Natalie and the Minecraft kid once had a bit of an altercation with big quotations around that. Basically, the Minecraft kid was just like making fun of people because like, you know, the other people in the class knew this guy, knew to put up with him. But then like his like one of his shots fired went to like Natalie for like some reason. Um, and I, I didn't actually get specifics on the stories, but just know that like Natalie kind of knows that this kid is like, this kid is kind of annoying, right? So she at least has a little heads up about that. Uh, that's going to be important for later in the story. It was the day of the big presentation, and the subscriber who submitted the story went in first. He was actually, I think he asked to be the first one to go. That's something I like to do when there's, like, presentations, because I don't like sitting around. It just kind of makes me all anxious. So I definitely agree with the subscriber on his call for going first. Anyways, he goes first. Uh, he says he nails it. You know, he does a really good job. He's been preparing for weeks. But anyways, right, so more people go, and then eventually it is the, you know, the shy girl's turn to go, or we called her Natalie, right? So it's Natalie's turn to go, and she goes up there, and she starts, like, booting up her laptop, because, like, she decided to do a presentation that required her to, like, go on, like, Google Slides or something, or PowerPoint, whatever. She needed to use, like, air, like, a, she needed to screen share her computer to the screen, right? And remember... This is a really big presentation. This is worth like 20%, 15% of your grade. And this is at, this is like kind of like the final project at the end of the year. So this is a really big deal. So Natalie boots up her computer. She air straight, like she kind of like matches it with the screen and she moves to the first slide and she began. She said back in, cause she was like doing like, this was a history class. So it was like a presentation of like history. So she was like back in 18 and then the Minecraft kid starts going, <coughs> very loudly, not trying to like hide anything. And at first Natalie was like, oh, kid had to cough, like whatever. So then she's like, okay. Back in, <laughs> Natalie just, just stops, right? After like he's done coughing and he kind of, she just does this like blank stare at him. Just like blankly is like, bro, right? And he stares right back at her. And the subscriber turns to look at the Minecraft kid. And the subscriber notices that the Minecraft kid is just staring right back at Natalie, grinning. He's just grinning. So the, the subscriber is like, oh my god, like that was on purpose. Because at the first he thought it was like a coughing fit or whatever. He turns to the teacher. The teacher's not looking at the Minecraft kid. The, the teacher is looking at Natalie, waiting for her to continue. So Natalie eventually continues with her presentation, and she wasn't immediately interrupted again, right? So these presentations are supposed to be about like five minutes, some around like seven, eight, ten minutes. The cap is like 15 minutes, a hard cap, but he said to aim for like four, five, six, seven, eight minutes within that range, and that there's a lot of flexibility. So Natalie is about a minute into her presentation, just kind of like going along, you know, thing, assuming the Minecraft kid was done trolling, that his little coughing fits that were definitely on purpose 
We're just like a little, a little bit of a jab. Just, we do a little bit of trolling, right? Not too much. But Minecraft Kid was not done, man. Minecraft Kid was just waiting, waiting for her to feel secure. And that's when he would pounce. That's when he'd come in with the second troll. So Natalie's about a minute and a half through her presentation. And the Minecraft Kid goes, and Natalie's just like, no way, dude. Because, you know, look, some, sometimes, bro, you got to yawn. That's fair. That happens, right? Sometimes you got to yawn. Um, but Minecraft Kid was being extra, extra careful to make sure that he yawned as loud as possible. He was trying to, like, he was just trying to yawn at max yawn capacity, dude. Like, he was just trying to, like, yawn as hard and as loud as he possibly could. And Natalie once again stopped her presentation. And this time, instead of looking at the Minecraft, she looked at the Minecraft kid, like, briefly. But she decided to look at the teacher and noticed that the teacher was looking directly back at her, waiting for her to continue, not looking at the Minecraft kid at all. So Natalie's starting to realize that, you know, the Minecraft kid will continue to be annoying and the teacher doesn't seem like he's about to do anything about it. So she just has to keep going and keep pushing through this presentation, right? So she keeps going. She's like not trying to go through too quickly so she loses grade points, but also realizes that she needs to like try and, you know, keep it as concise as possible as, as, as the longer she goes, the more opportunities Minecraft Kid has to like basically be super, super annoying. Real quick, if you like story time videos and aren't subscribed already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Trying to hit 400K by New Year's and that's a bit of a stretch. So every subscription subscription really does help. Anyways, back to the story. So Natalie's about two minutes into her presentation. She didn't even make that much time since the last you know, Minecraft Kid incident, quote unquote, and she starts hearing this clicking sound. So Minecraft Kid brought his mouse to class, right? And what do you, what you can do basically is if you want to get like really high, like a lot of clicks per second, if you play Minecraft fighting against people, you know that this is a thing you can do. Instead of clicking with one finger, you can click with two fingers and like alternate. And if you spam it really quickly, you can like get a lot of clicks per second and that helps with like knockback and hitting first hit reg and whatever. Anyways, it's irrelevant, right? But what it also does is it's super loud and annoying. And at this point, right, Natalie just has to stop because the clicks are just like so loud and obnoxious that like she just can't, like you can hear them over the presentation. And she's just standing there and she looks pissed. She is mad, right? She is angry. But this time the teacher looks at the Minecraft kid. And he's like, hey, yo, can you stop? You're, you're interrupting the presentation. So Natalie gives like a little like turns to her teacher, gives a little head nod as like a little thank you, right? Just being like, hey, appreciate that, you know? So she goes back to her presentation and she's probably going for about 15 seconds. It's only about 15 seconds until the Minecraft kid turns to someone next to him and says loudly, this presentation is so boring, I can't wait till it's over. And the, the teacher immediately snaps and he's like, hey, Minecraft kid doesn't actually say it like, that was so disrespectful, can't be, and Natalie isn't even hearing this, right? She's just in a fit of rage. And the subscriber, I mean, he has to assume this, right? But he sees Natalie and her eyes just gloss over, right? When she hears this. This is, he can tell that this is the last straw. So the teacher is kind of chewing out the Minecraft kid because the teacher noticed the, the yawning. The teacher noticed the, the coughing fits, but kind of just assumed that they were not, you know, not him purposely trying to mess up the presentation. But he kind of put two and two together, and then after the clicking and then blatantly saying very loudly, this presentation's so boring, when is she going to be done? He kind of figured it out, and in the middle of reprimanding this kid, he was about to send him to the principal's office when Natalie remembered something that she was kind of saving if something like this ever was to happen. Anyways, right, so... Remember that time when I said that the the uh, the Roblox kid kind of made fun of Natalie when she was new or newer than she was now? And it turns out that Natalie actually really did take that to heart and was like not a big fan of this kid at all. But what she did instead of just sitting there being like, I don't like this kid, is she did a little bit of digging. And since she knew that he really liked Minecraft or whatever and had some social media presence, like he had a gaming channel with like 50 subs or whatever, she started stalking him online, like looking at his stuff, going through his page. And then she noticed this YouTube channel that would always comment on his videos. And it kind of seemed like he was commenting to boost subs or whatever, or boost comments or whatever. And she didn't really think much of it till she clicked into it. When she clicked into it, she went through the comment section of one video that was posted on there. And in the comment section, it said, DM me back on TikTok, right? So then she's like, wait a minute. Does he have a secret TikTok account? 
So then she types up the name of this account that he always commented on his main channel with into TikTok. And she found probably one of the most embarrassing accounts she has ever seen. So she tucked that in the back of her head like, okay, if I ever need to go fully nuclear on this or nuclear on this kid, right? If he really just makes me pull out the big guns, then he doesn't know what's coming. So at this point, it would have been really smart for Natalie to just not do this because this kid's about to be sent to the principal's office. But she's just so mad that she says, class, I have a new addition to the presentation that we must see together. And she goes, she quits out of the presentation or minimizes it, right? She opens up a new tab and like looks up TikTok. Part wasn't really clear when it was told to me. She either looked it up online, but I'm not sure if you can do that, or she like had these videos saved just in, ca in case the kid like privated or deleted his account. But she opens up an account and it is very, uh, and she said, this is the Minecraft kids, or said his actual name, secret TikTok account. I thought we'd have a little break from my presentation to check it out. And it turns out it is like a mega cringy Minecraft dating site where he basically uses unironically the phrases like, hey baby girl, and like is like, this is my real voice. And it's like this really like cringy, deep, fake, like a fake deep voice. Like you see in like on those like tick on those like like Roblox kid TikTok videos, he basically is doing that unironically. And the entire class is just silent. They're like, oh my God, this girl that we thought had no fire, like was just gonna be super vanilla and just chill and wouldn't ever do anything like this, absolutely snapped. And the teacher turns, cause he's like absolutely captivated by what Natalie is like posting. And he notices and he catches on really quickly. And he's like, he realizes that Natalie just completely embarrassed this kid in front of the entire class. So he gets up from his chair and says, Natalie, Minecraft kid, both of you, principal's office, now. So obviously, right, the subscriber didn't go to the principal's office with Natalie and the Minecraft kid. So how he figured out about the rest of the story was he asked a friend of Natalie's that he was also mutually friends with, and she gave in the scoop of basically what happened, right? So Natalie and the Minecraft kid are being escorted to the principal's office by the teacher. Not even saying go to there like and explain yourselves like I'm just going to continue conducting the class. The teacher goes to explain what happens for them, right? So on the walk there, she's like, I totally messed up. Like, this was an overreaction. And the part of her was like, kid deserved it, lol. So they get to the principal's office and the teacher explains what he saw from his POV. And it turns out, at least the way what Natalie told his friend, her friend was that uh, the teacher kind of explained it spot on. Like, his observational skills were good. He went through, like, the four things of the Minecraft kid to purposely disrupt and annoy and try and, you know, ruin Natalie's chances of a good grade. And then he went on to say that Natalie, after the kid was being reprimanded by him, kind of went on to unnecessarily embarrass him in front of the entire class. And at this point, the, the principal was like, all right, Mr. Whatever, right, the teacher, you can go back to your class. I will deal with these students myself. So Natalie is sitting there sweating buckets because she's like, oh God, am I going to be expelled? Or my Like what's going to happen? Are my parents going to be like, it, it, is this it for me, right? Am I going to fail the class? What's happening? So the principal sits them both down and is like, to the Minecraft kid, you were very obviously trying to disrupt one of your classmates on one of their biggest presentations during the year. And towards the end, you even rudely said that, you know, you didn't want to like listen to it and it was super boring. Maybe the coughing and the, you know, the, the clicking and all the other stuff was possibly excusable, but you know, in combination with the fact that you said that this stuff was, the you said blatantly words that were disrespectful to your classmate in an attempt to disrupt them, that's unacceptable. Then he turns to Natalie and says, however, it is also unacceptable to purposely belittle a classmate. Even if it's something that they posted online, it's pretty apparent from what the principal told me that it was a more or less secret account and that you publicly showed everyone in an attempt to belittle your classmate. That is also a behavior that we just won't accept. So they're both sitting there at this point. And the principal is kind of like drawing this out, really drawing it out. And the principal eventually says, all right, you know, I thought about it for a second. I think I know the punishment that best fits the crime for both of you. Natalie's just sitting there like, oh my God, like, oh my God, how bad is this going to be? She had no clue of like how severe the whole thing was going to be. She was just sitting there. She had no idea how bad this whole thing was going to go down. And the principal was like, all right, here it is. And Natalie's just like, oh God, please, please, please. And the principal says, 
In school suspension for three days, parents will not be notified. Now go back to your class. Well, Natalie was stayed collected. Uh, she it, it told her friend that she was so excited because that was probably the best option possible. In school suspension, you just stayed a little later, didn't have to tell the parents. She could just make something up. And when she went back to the class, she told the, the teacher what the principal had said. And the teacher actually said that she would be able to redo her presentation at a later date, and she was positive she failed that. So it turned out great for her, actually. If you enjoyed today's story and want to support the channel, watch another story. One of the easiest ways to do that is either click on the videos on screen or watch the Storytime playlist, which is first link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.